This next slide is super easy to create. The main thing is it is timing. So that just worked out perfect. So what you'll do is add a new slide. Then you'll head over to something like Filmstock, Pexels.com, or even Canva.com, create a new design, add a video, and download from there. I'm going to head over to Pexels.com. In this case, I typed in dog training. You hit enter. And then you can download a video from here. You just click on the download icon. Super easy. I like to give thanks by donating whenever it's possible. Once it's downloaded, I might change the file name, whatever I can to make it easy to remember. I'm going to drop it into the slide. I will go ahead and dismiss the design. I'll head up here and I'm going to just draw it out. I'm going to set it right on the top there and drag out so that it's aligned perfectly top and bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to align and I'm going to say I want to align center and I want to align in the middle. And then you can see here it's exactly aligned. Now this works because the video is actually aligned sort of with a center shot. I can of course move this to wherever I want using these rulers sort of as my guideline to where I'm going to be placing the video. Of course we want to make sure that we trim the video to get it to where we want it. So in this case we want the ball already thrown. Keep going here and it looks like you know, let's say right about here, and we look at about, you know, three seconds, just actually, yeah, about three seconds, and you can see, so I'm going to cancel that, that the video needs to be about three or so seconds anyway, so that's again why I like to put the timestamps. Once I've got that set up, I can go over to my animation pane. Of course, if you don't see it, you know where to find it now. It's going to be under animations. Or I can also go to selection, which of course is going to be within the video format playback area. And I can rename it if I need to. I've already done that, so it's just using the file name, so it works out perfectly. And I want to make sure that I select to start automatically. Of course, I can do that from within the animation pane as well. And I want to make both of these to start go to animations and click preview just to see what it's going to look like okay so that is that and then we'll just add the sound and then modify the timing to suit once we get ready to burn the final video so we'll return back to this 